Effects of Changes in Demand and Supply on Equilibrium Price Part 1 In the real world, demand and supply forces keep on changing. Hence, it becomes inevitable to discuss what will be the effect of change in demand and supply on the equilibrium price and quantity. In this lesson, we allow supply to increase and assume demand condition to remain unchanged. This occurrence we are going to analyze under three conditions. First condition, demand is elastic and supply shifts to the right. DD and SS are respectively the original demand and supply curves. E1 is the equilibrium point. P2 is the equilibrium price. M1 is the equilibrium quantity demanded and supplied. With an improvement in technology, the producers supply more. The supply curve shifts to the right. S1, S1 is the new supply curve. At P2 price, the suppliers are willing to supply E2 quantity, but buyers are willing to buy E1 quantity. There emerges an oversupply to the tune of E1, E2. The sellers, in their attempt to clear the excess supply, reduce the price and move down along the supply curve S1, S1. Since the demand is elastic, the buyers also move down along the demand curve DD. New equilibrium is formed at point E3. The new equilibrium price is P1, which is less than the original price. The new equilibrium quantity is M2, which is greater than M1. The net result is a fall in price and increase in quantity demanded and supplied. Here, the impact is partly absorbed by price and partly absorbed by quantity. Second condition, perfectly elastic demand and supply shifts to right. Perfectly elastic demand curve is horizontal and parallel to x-axis. To begin with, PD is the demand curve, P is the prevailing price, E1 is the equilibrium point, M1 is the quantity. With increase in supply, a new supply curve S1, S1 is formed to the right of the original supply curve S, S. The immediate effect is an oversupply. As the demand is perfectly elastic, the excess supply is fully absorbed by demand and the new equilibrium point is E2. New equilibrium quantity demanded and supplied is M2. The net result is price doesn't change, quantity alone increases. The full impact is on quantity. Third condition, perfectly inelastic demand and supply shifts to right. MD is the perfectly inelastic demand curve. It is vertical and parallel to y-axis. E2 is the original equilibrium where supply curve S, S intersects demand curve MD. P2 is the price. M is the quantity. Increase in supply results in the shift of the supply curve to the right. The new supply curve is S1, S1. An excess supply E2, E3 shows up. But the buyers would not like to buy this surplus. As the demand is inelastic, the suppliers move down along S1, S1. The new equilibrium is established at E1. The new price is P1, which is less than the original price. The net result is quantity doesn't change, price alone falls. The full impact falls on price.